Well, welcome to my vlog, everybody. It's Monday, the beginning of the week. I hate it. All right, let's go out and do some filming. Are you ready? Okay, let's get this party started. Let's go. Do you feel the pleasure? Welcome back Yeah, today is Monday So how you doing everyone? Did you have a great weekend? How was your Saturday? Sunday? What you do on this weekend? Let me know in the comments below Well, it's evening time and as usual it looks like it's the same old same old I don't know if I have anything really exciting to show you today. The only thing I can really tell you is that the weather, as every single day now, and it's summertime, that the weather is perfect. I enjoy it. I went out and bought some gas, and as usual, the gas price was almost three bucks. That's a lot of money. And I said to myself, I gotta cut cut out this uh, vlogging and maybe start focusing on walking. But if I do some walking around, everything is closed. Can't really see anything. Well, one thing's for sure that some of the boarded up buildings that uh, were kind of like all over the place are gone just about but let me tell you yesterday I lucked out pretty pretty much because um, I was out in downtown Oakland and I, I just posted some videos today just hope that you could check it out but I just missed the rioting maybe about two hours by two hours if I was there if I didn't leave the uh, downtown area like I did I probably would have been caught up in the uh, or got stuck in the the protest and I was looking on YouTube because none of the, the major TV stations they're not filming any of that stuff they're not showing all the violence they're not showing any of the, the uh, vandalizing of the city it's almost like, oh, we better not vandalize. Wait a minute. <laughs> I can't talk. Maybe we better not film, not vandalize. Maybe the, the, the TV stations better not film this, this mayhem right now because then the whole world will see what's going on, that the city is a mess and all this politics that's been going on and now we know that some bad people out there and we know who you are promoting all of this stuff not doing anything about it but there was a lot of rioting yesterday and I, I, was, I was driving by no I didn't drive the park drive by the park where the city hall was located at but I understand they tried to burn it oh my god burning Oh, you get sick and tired and, and, and get pissed off at what they're doing and um, just where's the police you know the police are there that stupid mayor he told well, I guess he was telling the uh, police department that to stand down oh wow you live around that area you're gonna get so upset about it I mean, I passed by these condos right there near Lake Merritt, and they just spray painted in the front of their uh, condos. Oh my God! You know, if I was really crazy and stupid, I would probably go out there with a gun, and uh, I would tell them, "Get the f out of here!" <laughs> these people are insane, man. 
there is really something wrong in America when you keep, keep, people keep vandalizing for what reason? There, is, there really isn't a good reason for that. There really isn't any point in trying to just destroy things, to break things, to smash things. They said they had people with hammers. Oh, of course, they were using bricks. only see how stupid Americans are. These guys, I, they're, they're wearing masks, they're walking around, they're violent. You know what somebody should do? They should organize a task force. Well, maybe in each city have like specialized task force like a, what do you call those type of people, SWAT. And they should be trained on how to uh, deal with all of these anarchists, these people who are committing all these stupid crimes and they should be deployed once these bad people are are protesting and then just go after them, man. Sometimes, you know, when you see, see these, they look like young white guys are the ones that are doing the vandalizing. See people doing that, you just want to go out and get a bat. <laughs> you want to go get a bat and slaps the sh the son of a bitch in the face and the head because of what they're doing. Ay ay ay! All righty, but that's what's going on yesterday, and I haven't. It's kind of peaceful today. I'm the mayor for for sure. I don't know what she's doing. I guess she's following the same footsteps like the uh, Speaker of the House, staying at home, scared as hell, because they defaced her house. Like I said, man, I would like to see how her face, how she looks when they spray painted her front of her house. So what are you going to do, Mayor? Use tax dollars so that they'll protect your house? You're the ones that promote it. You are the one that's supporting it. So you got to be held accountable. All right, we're not going to talk about that anymore. It's sickening. It's sickening. I mean, we should be worrying about this uh, pandemic. Well, not really worrying about it. And once again, you have all our leaders out there. They're telling you that this is bad. We need to keep locking down. I'm, you know, people, people, they say there's a surge. I, I have my doubts about it. I have my doubts whether or not there really is a surge. But yet yesterday when I was um, filming in um, Lake Merritt, I just saw, many, saw so many groups of people just sitting around on the grass no mask not at all people were just uh, congregating in large groups well some people were like well most people were like what six feet away and I guess if you're uh, in a group of people I'm sure you're probably familiar with your friends and you know that they're not sick so maybe you not really have to be afraid of wearing a mask when you're together I don't know and the only way you're ever going to find out whether or not why is to go up to these people and ask them, hey, are you guys know each other? How come you guys are, are not social distancing and wear a mask? Oh, no, no, no. I'm not about to ask people that. You know, people around nowadays are, are hella sensitive about people invading their privacy. People are just not too friendly here I mean being a vlogger here too in the in America it's not very very uh, well let's just say you know when you approach people on the street and you're filming it eight out of ten times people will just turn their face or sometimes they'll walk fast faster past you they, they really don't want to be filmed they really don't want to be um, 
put on any type of video and there were times too when I asked people um, can I film you is it okay and most of the time they say no um, I don't know it's people are just afraid to be put on um, social media on the internet because you could use that vote you could use sometimes use videos and photos and pictures of you or or your family and post it on and do some evil things with it I don't know what they do with that is it possible they could put you down they could edit your video and use it for some unscrupulous <laughs> behavior is that what's true uh, you know Americans are like that so you gotta be careful when you're vlogging you don't want to invade the people's privacy and try to respect that then again you get a lot of people you know, they come up to you and say, "Hey, what's up?" Yeah, they love it. They love to, they love to get on the uh, the camera. Yeah, they love the camera. They like to show off, so it's cool. Well, we're here on East 14th, and there is a lot of people. There's a lot of cars out there, so that's a good sign that people are working. And as usual, I'm driving here and I'm looking out for these potholes because every time I drive on the city streets no matter especially San Leandro San Leandro was a, basically a middle-class city they have a lot of money yet I don't know why they don't fix the most important thing in there is the roads well listen man it's, it's really my fault though because you know I got this car that is so low to the ground got these expensive tires on my car and you know you got low profile tires on your car that's what to be expected so I'm partly to blame I know I complain about it all the time it's just that there's just so many holes everywhere <laughs> there are holes man I mean somebody should go out there when you see a hole go out there and spray it some kind of the luminous paint so that if you're driving even at night you could see that oh look at that there's a mark that means there's a hole right there <laughs> oh wee oh yes well there's a few buildings out here that are still boarded and I just noticed that a lot of companies and businesses and stores they really close early Seems like seven o'clock is the seven o'clock seems to be the most the, the, well not the most but most of the business here close around that hour seven o'clock. Yeah, it doesn't seem like people are buying. Does people have money? Oh wow, there's another. Oh, that's I'm just passing by a lot of these um. used car dealers and some of them look like they have nice cars like I was saying in my last uh, few vlogs that I was interested in well I was just car watching car car browsing what do you call that just looking around and I'm thinking about it 20 years with the uh, same car I think it's about time to uh, move it on up move it on up Try something different. Now I thought about buying a new car, but uh, I don't want to spend like thirty thousand on a car with a six-year payment. Instead of spending that money on a car that for that price, might as well buy a used car. But here in the states, used cars are, you know, people you can't trust it. I mean. You can't, you can't just go to a used car lot and think that all those cars are in good, good condition. Um, you know, the way people are driving, if you've seen in my last vlog, oh, here's some more potholes. As you've seen it, here's potholes, oh lord! As you notice that uh, the way Americans drive, they're really lousy. They don't really take care of their cars. 
and a lot of these cars that are um, being sold at these used car lots um, were cars that the previous owner just wanted to get rid of it because maybe there were some issues with their engine or the there were just some the car just wasn't very good and then you get a lot well then you not not everybody but that's what I was told you know I've been working in the dealership for five to six years and I know a lot of these things I mean I wouldn't even buy a car at the dealership where I work because you know there's just so many cars that people just trade in because there's some issues with it there's a lot of things you got to consider when you buy cars and there's then there's a lot of cars that were um, you know some of these cars that uh, that go to the auction cars that well dealers who took in trade-ins they, they take it to the auction because it's not worth worth it for them to fix the cars or to, to resell it so those are some of the issues that you know if you buy a used car here it's not not a good idea so if you don't buy a used car at the dealer you don't buy a used car on a used car lot where do you buy so I guess you are you saying that you're forced to buy a new car well listen there is one more option and um, and I think it's probably the best thing to do if you're really in the market for a a, a, a used car um, I would recommend going to a private owner there's plenty of people out there that want to sell their cars maybe some people you know people who are selling their car private owners normally t really they really take care of their cars you know they spend a lot of money on their cars so they're not gonna trash it or they're not gonna drive it I mean there's another another car that I oh yeah I forgot to mention um, you could also buy cars from a, a, a rental agency that are cars that were people rented out you know you're on vacation you rent a car oh my god sorry about that and um, after so and so many miles maybe 30 40,000 miles these rental car agencies they sell their cars yet I've, I've been seeing and comparing some of the prices in there look at this guy right here check it out wow that knucklehead He was just just went ahead and drove ahead. Didn't even stop or slow down when I was approaching him. See, that's what you gotta look out for, everyone. These people, they don't, they're not looking, they're not watching. They're, they're just. Let me go see and take a look at this. There's another stupid guy in a Mustang that's cutting across. Oh yeah, he, that guy was a lousy driver. At the last minute, he switched lanes. And those kind of people who switch lanes are either a young kids driving people who have a bad driving record or just plain stupid and every time I'm driving let me tell you every time I'm driving there's always somebody out there there's always okay there's always someone out there that's uh, driving who's really retarded stupid all right we'll be Okay guys, thank you for watching my video today. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, trip, my short trip and my vlog today. So please keep watching and supporting this channel. And please, if you have any comments, please leave a comment below. And I want to thank everybody once again. I hope you guys have a great day. Take care.